Hey everyone, I'm back. Did you miss me? So I hasn't been any videos for the last 10 days because my file server crashed and all my files for making videos are on the file server. So I had to get some new hard drives and very meticulously clone the old hard drives to the new ones. Um, fortunately, my data drive was just had a few bad blocks on it. I was able to clone no problem. However, the boot drive was completely trashed and I have to reinstall Windows on the file server entirely from scratch. So, but it's back up and running now and I can finally make videos again. So here we have the completed Evil Sons uh, Death Killer War Trike, which is a looted Eldar Viper, or at least loosely based on a looted Eldar Viper. There's a little bit of the Viper left. So we'll just do a spin up here. Hopefully there'll be enough light on it. Get the job done. So um, I really did heavily mo um, model it after the stock model, uh, starting with the three twin boom guns or boom sticks, whatever they call them. Um, so you have the one in the hand, just like the actual model, and I got. The one sitting here, again, just like the actual model. And the last one I just have underslung here, like a uh, bike's twin big shooter. But it's got all three of those, and it's got the jets in the back, just like the stock model. These are rocket engines. It's got a little bit of a blue glow in there and some blackening around the uh, out outlets, exhaust tips. And there's the Grot guy, which is the, uh, the ones per game accelerator thing. Of course he's just the uh, battle wagon accessory sprue grot. He's sitting there. And the base is MDF. Um, of course GW does not make the 150 millimeter base separately so I had to get go third party on that one. And it's just an MDF 150 millimeter base. Um, I did slightly bevel the edges because I just couldn't handle it being straight up and down. <laughs> so they got a, slight, they got a slight bevel to them with some sandpaper and just some basic cork basing yeah some simple cork basing on it. it looks pretty good and the it's just a quarter inch acrylic rod with a magnet drilled in the top so it's partially magnetized partial friction fit in there to hold the hold it on the base and i also have and of course the war boss is magnetized so he just comes right off And he's got his own 40 millimeter base he can just snap onto if I ever want to take a Evil Sun's War Boss on foot. You maybe give him the redder armor or something like that. Um, and of course this model is based on the Reaper Bones Mountain Troll model. It's been heavily modified and green stuffed, mainly just to give him pants. The green stuff is more because primarily on the pants. And then I gave him a snaggy claw, again with the chain and the spool, just like the stock um, model. Hydraulic cylinders there on the Snake Claw. But yeah. And this plate right here is the one of the sections of a drum from the Black Orc um, slash Iron Jaws Art Boys kit. And the head is actually the top of the banner from the same kit. but it's really the only one that's close to big enough to match the size of this model. But yeah, so that's a pretty significant size war boss. Let's see what we have. Do we have a space marine? We do have a space marine. So here we have one of these space marine, the regular, not the primary, sort of standard space marine from the um, Space Marine Heroes line. So you can see this is a pretty significantly sized war boss. So yeah, he's him going on foot um, is not going to be um, a rare thing, I don't think. I think he's, he just looks good by himself. And of course I went with Evil Sons because this is to match the Evil Sons um, jet bike, KFF mech on, uh, on bike, which is a jet bike. So they'll both be floating around on these by themselves. 
Yeah. So yeah, that is my Death Killer War Trike. Um, very happy with how it turned out. I think it looks great, and the um, and the playability is great because it has all the same war gear, the same uh, dimensions. If anything, it's going to be way bigger than the stock Death Killer War Trike, so it's going to be easier to shoot at. But yeah, extremely happy with this model. I think it came out great, and. I don't know when he's going to get on the table because I'm still playing with the Golf Bad Moons list, but I might go back to Evil Suns here to give that a try over the Goths before long, but yeah. Tell me what you think about my looted Viper Death Killer War Trike. And so what's coming up next is I'm going to finish up the one um, Black Knight bike that I have to make to uh, finish that out. And then I'm going to be working on my Orc UFOs. From a long time ago they need to I, i'm going to do some weapon conversions on that i'm going to turn them into one of the new buggies probably the megatrek scrap jets because they already have wing missiles so i might so i think i might just be lazy and go that way even if they may not be the best model i think that's what i'm going to go with because i think they fit the the look of the ufos or the, the role of the ufos i think that fits best being a megatrek scrap jet um yeah so thanks for watching thanks for um sticking with me during that slight delay where I was had some technical difficulties and thanks for watching mm -hmm.